In this video, I want to show you how you can create a membership site homepage. Okay, you need to log into your WordPress admin area. Click Add New Page. Okay, a few things to note before we begin. There are one, two, three, four, five. Five types of membership site pages that you can create with Profits Team. Uh, and they are the membership home page, which we, we are going to create in this video. And there are also the membership model page, the membership content page, the membership for the ClickBank, PayPal, and Wishlist login page, and also membership uh, membership page for other pages which are not which that which doesn't belong to one of these uh, categories here so now in this video um, I'm going to be creating separate videos for each of this so uh, make sure you you watch the, the other videos too to have a better understanding of what of how you can create a membership site with profits team okay so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a membership site homepage now the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that under template you need to create you need to choose PT membership home okay now let's type in the title here let's try membership home test right Okay, you can type in uh, some some text here if you want. Let's try Okay. Now you need to choose um, the PT membership site settings. Okay, you need to click this toggle button here. We're not going to be using the landing page layout settings because that is for creating landing page such as squeeze page, sales page, uh, product launch pages, one-time offer pages, thank you pages, and uh, and all types of landing pages, right? So we don't want this one. We just click this toggle, and then we want to click the membership site settings. Okay, click this arrow button here to toggle. Now. You can create a custom title, which is going to replace whatever you write here. I'm not going to do that. So, um, you know what? Just I'm just going to write something here just to show you what's the, the difference between these two. Uh, so, whatever you write here under custom title is going to replace whatever you write here. Okay. Well, you might be thinking, what's the difference? Well, the difference is that if you have your permalinks set up. Uh, you would usually have this whatever you write here is going to be your permalink so for example this one is going to uh, when you type membership home test as the title of the page is going to uh, WordPress is going to give the default URL which is uh, getprofitfast.com forward slash profit team demo forward slash membership uh, hyphen home hyphen test right so you can write something if you want you want your permalink to be like this membership home test forward slash membership home test and you but you want something to show up differently uh, under the under the page title uh, then you can do that with the custom title okay it's easier to illustrate this so I'm just going to type something here okay just click I'm just going to click publish Okay, give it a second. Okay, let's see how the member, how this page looks. There you go. See, custom title is here. Right? Whatever I write here, custom title is going to replace whatever I write here. Right? But the URL is still going to be this one getprofitsfast.com forward slash profits demo forward slash membership home test. Okay? Member the URL is going to inherit what you write here if you have set your permalinks correctly. But you can replace that. You can, if you don't want to use this title, you can do so. Like I, 
just illustrated you can type something here it's going to show up here okay okay right now I, I just want to use the diff, this this title here is good for me so I'm just going to delete this okay now next if you want to disable comments on this page you can just tick this box just going to leave uh, this box this box unticked okay next membership page icon okay you can choose one of the membership icons for example let's say that uh, this is the members areas okay so I'm going to choose members only icon and then I'm going to click this one to show membership sidebar text settings it's going to show up on this type sidebar here so I click this one membership set by title okay, it's optional I'm going to I'm just going to type something here members dashboard sidebar text is going to appear below this title here membership set by titles this is also optional I'm going to type something here just for uh, you to understand better Okay, going to update this. Okay, let's refresh the page. There you go. This is the members icon that we have just chosen. There you go, members only icon showing up here. This one, this is the icon. Feel free to browse through the links below. It is from here membership sidebar text feel free to browse through the links below and members dashboard is from this one from here okay so you can customize your membership sidebar text if you want if you don't want you can just delete this delete this and leave this blank that's fine okay let's move on okay one other thing to note is that this is when you click this it's just showing and unshowing the settings that you have just entered okay unticking this box does not mean that you deactivate the settings here if you want to deactivate the settings here you have to delete these words okay so uh, unchecking or unticking this box does not mean that I am going to delete whatever is here okay so that's it for the settings for creating your membership homepage all the other settings here sidebar text settings video settings Sorry, set by step text settings is the one we have just gone over. Membership video settings, content settings, PayPal or ClickBank integrated integration settings are going to be covered in a, uh, in, in a different videos because uh, they are not meant for <coughs> excuse me because they are not meant for membership site homepage. Okay, uh, except for this one. Okay, show membership home settings. Okay, if I click this again, it's going to toggle down a range of. Uh, a set of options which I can choose okay so if you choose this one show membership home settings this only applies if you are creating a membership site home page which which we are creating now so you can select the module pages to show on membership on membership site home page okay currently uh, the modules page is already shown here because I've already created this page before I record this video and for how do you make the modules page show up here is simple you just create a new page and then you choose membership under template you choose membership module okay whatever you when you when you do that and you hit publish okay and then it will show up here okay so all the module pages will show up here okay and how do you create module pages you create module pages by by, by selecting temp under template you select membership module okay so I just because I've already created this page before I record this video I'm just going to sh choose this one and I'm go just going to show to you what this means click update okay let's refresh there you go the videos is the modules the modules page is showing here right so let's say that you have modules page uh, let's say this is module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 
module 5 and so on it will show here module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 if you don't want it to show just click control and click use your mouse to click and it will deselect this module page and of course you can click control uh, and select to select multiple modules if you don't want if you have selected uh, the, one of the modules or more than one of the modules to deselect it you just hit co click control one more time and then use your mouse to click and it will deselect this module page okay and you can play around with it you can sort modules by the menu order menu is uh, I'm going menu is when you create uh, a menu within WordPress okay you can use the menu order or you can choose sort it by date ID or title okay and you can order the parameter by, by ascending or descending and you can limit how many you want to show how many module links you want to show here let's say you want you have a lot of modules let's say 20 modules but you just want to show 10 uh, on your membership homepage then you can do so by select by just entering 10 here okay that's it for the uh, settings for membership site homepage